It's a beautiful flower with pico stitches in the middle. On this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make the garden party motif. I'm gonna be using a four millimeter hook and some cotton yarn size four. So we're gonna start with a slip knot and we're gonna start with a base ring. For your base ring, you wanna chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now to close off this ring, we're gonna do a slip stitch into the very first chain that you made. So into that first chain, insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull through to close. And now we're going to start row one. You're gonna work a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And now into the ring, we're going to do one double crochet. So into the center of that ring there, a double crochet. And now we're gonna start the repeat. So you're going to do a pico stitch and two double crochets into the ring seven times. So let's do that for our pico stitch. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. And then you wanna do a slip stitch into the very first chain of those chain three. So you insert your hook into that chain and then do a slip stitch. And that's gonna give you your pico stitch. If you've never done this before, it kinda of looks like a little ball that comes out of the work. And now you wanna do two double crochets into the ring. Here's one. And two. And that's the row repeat. We do a pico stitch and two double crochets into the, row, into the ring. So let's do one more time together. Chain three for a pico. And now slip stitch into the very first chain that you made. And now two double crochets into the ring. Um, so let me just flip that into the ring. Two double crochets. And there's one. And two. And that's what we want to do all the way around. Um, a total of seven times. This was my first, this is my second, so I need five more. I'll do that and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, I just did my seventh repetition. The way that you know you've got seven is if you have seven picos and then two double crochets after them. So this is my first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're gonna finish off with those two double crochets. And now to finish off this row, we're going to do a pico. So one, two, three, and then do a slip stitch into the third. And now you wanna do a slip stitch into the top of the chain three that you started with. So my chain three is a little hidden there, but it's over here. The top of the chain is this one. Let's see here. Yeah, over here, insert your hook into it, and now pull through to close. And this here is the end of row one. For row two, we're going to start with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And now we're gonna do one double crochet into the next double crochet. Uh, so into the first double crochet of the previous row, a double crochet. Now we're gonna start the repeat. You're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're gonna do one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. So basically you're skipping the pico and into the next double crochets. Just do one double crochet on top of each. Here's one. And here's two. And that's what you wanna do all the way around. We're going to chain six, four, five, six. Find the next two double crochets and on top of them do a double crochet into each. So that's one and two. And you'll see we start kind of forming these petals around the picots. So you wanna do this all the way around. I'll see you when you're done. Okay, so I just did my last two double crochets into the last two double crochets of the previous row. And as you can see, we have this pico there. So we wanna finish up this row by doing a chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we wanna do a slip stitch into the top of the chain three that we started with. 
sew onto the top of that chain three, insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull through to close. And this here is the end of row two. Now for row three, we're gonna do a slip stitch into the next double crochet and into the first chain six space. So slip stitch into the next double crochet and into the first chain six space. Now we wanna start from that point. Um, we're going to do a chain one and now we wanna do eight single crochets into this chain six space. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now continuing um, on and to start the repeat, we're going to do eight single crochets into the next chain six space. So basically you're just gonna do eight single crochets into each of the chain six spaces all the way around. I'll do one with you. You skip the double crochets, go into the next chain six space and do eight single crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And that's what you wanna do all the way around to create um, those really pretty petals. Do that and I'll see you when you're done. Um, actually, I'll just explain how to finish it off. When you're done, you're just going to do a slip stitch into the first single crochet of the row. You'll finish off with your eight single crochets, then do a slip stitch into the first single crochet that you started with, cut off your yarn and thread your ends through. This is a really beautiful applique. As you can see, the Pico stitches kind of just add a little bit of detail in the middle. This is just because my yarn was decolored, by the way. So um, in case you're wondering where that little white comes from. But yeah, really beautiful flower with some Picos in the middle. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you just subscribe to my channel? Just do it. Just do it.